You can use this technique for any part, model, or mesh to create any tool you want. Let's get started. First, we need a character model to visualize the scale of the sword we'll make. Open the Rig Builder, choose My Avatar, and insert it. This helps us get the right proportions. Now let's create the sword. Insert a new part, resize it into a crossguard shape, then change its color and material. Rename it Crossguard. Duplicate Crossguard, rename it Grip, and adjust the size to look like a sword grip. Repeat this step to create a blade. Insert a tool inside Workspace and name it whatever you like. I'll name mine Sword. Move all the sword parts, Crossguard, Grip, Blade, into the Sword tool. Duplicate Grip, rename it Handle, and adjust the position where the character's hand should grip. Make Handle invisible by setting transparency to 1. For each part, Crossguard, Grip, Blade, add a weld constraint. Set Part 0 to Handle and Part 1 to the part itself. This step connects everything to the handle. Otherwise, we will just grip the handle part, not the sword parts. Move the sword tool to starter pack so it appears in the player's inventory when they join the game. Click play to test. The sword works, but something looks weird. The hand grips the handle, but the sword's orientation is wrong. To fix this, go to workspace while the game is running, not in editing mode. Adjust the position and orientation values. If nothing happens, Unequip and re-equip the tool to refresh the settings. Once you're happy with the adjustments, copy the numbers, stop testing, and paste them into the tool properties in Starter Pack. Test the game again. Boom! Problem solved. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.